Hi, I'm Chris Plater, a mobile road technician from Listville, and we're here to look at a walker machine. All right, first thing we're gonna talk about is the uh, feeder house reverser. This is kind of a maintenance item that should be looked after prior to uh, any sort of combining at all. Uh, the first thing we wanna look at is here's some grease fittings. So we have a 12 o'clock position and a two o'clock position. So that one being at the top. And at the 12 o'clock position, that's the one that accepts more grease. That's almost twice as much as the two o'clock. So think about 12 o'clock is lunchtime, two o'clock is snack time. The next thing is the gearbox. Always check the level of the gearbox in the lowest position. This generally should be an HD 460 synthetic oil, and it should be serviced every season. All right, the next thing we wanna check is the feeder house drum position. Generally for small grains, we're gonna want the drum in the lowest position, and that means adjusting it on the right, hand, or the right and left hand side. And here we see on this machine here, it's set, uh, this one's set in the upright position right now because that hole is showing. Generally we just turn that and follow the directions here, and that lowers the drum. The next thing we're gonna look at is the upper variable shiv. On the upper variable shiv, it needs also greased on the 50 hour service interval. Uh, there is two grease fittings on that, one in the inner and one on the outer. And that should be done uh, after you cycle it, re-grease it, and then cycle it again. Make sure to verify the chain tension on the gathering chain on the drum and also on the drive chain on the side. This here is about perfect. You just want to lightly touch the guide. And then as far as in the drum, uh, there's doors on the very top of the feeder house in which it gives you, it should just be a slight raise at that point. If you open the door, you can kind of see that down in there. It's right in there. The next thing we're gonna look at is the primary gear case. You wanna verify the electric clutch there that drives the header is working like it's supposed to. Check the clearance on that, make sure the nut is tight. Next thing, in behind the primary gear case, there's actually a grease fitting on the shaft. You wanna verify that grease fitting can accept grease and then it won't wobble the primary gear case box, which eventually actually will, you'll feel in the cab and that's usually not a good thing. Up in that vicinity too, there's a drive shaft that comes through the grain tank. It also may or may not have a grease fitting on it. It should also be greased as well. Next thing you wanna make sure is that the gear case is greased. This is the unload auger gear case and there's actually a grease fitting up here, kinda of tucked up in there and you wanna make sure it can accept grease and verify that these bottom gears are tight. Uh, the 90 degree gear set can wear out if it's not properly adjusted. The next thing you wanna do is verify that the concave is level. So what you wanna do is in the operator's manual, it tells you how to verify the level across the concave. It's very important for uh, proper threshing. The next thing you wanna do is verify that the chopper is working like it's supposed to. First thing you should do is always check the hammers up inside the chopper and make sure that they're in good condition and they're balanced properly. If they're not balanced, you'll see cracks along the side of the panel. The next thing you wanna do is verify that the knives are like they're supposed to be. Uh, they don't wanna be too damaged and if they are, you can actually flip them and run them the other way. Another thing you wanna verify is that the clean grain elevator chain is adjusted properly. What you're looking for is just a slight bit of play uh, side to side on this chain, no pull down. And the tailings elevator, which is on the other side, is in the same way. Generally when setting a walker combine, you want to follow along in the armrest there's actually an indicator. And in the indicator it tells you on the settings where to set it for which crop. And when you're making adjustments to the combine, do these settings one setting at a time. And then verify that by doing it powered shutdown. Doing it powered shutdown, you can open up the machine and you can see in there what the crop is doing and what it's supposed to be doing. And like I said, just do a powered shutdown and one setting at a time. And that's your general trek over of a walkover machine. Generally follow the maintenance guide and follow the uh, card instructions in the armrest to verify the settings and do your powered shutdown. If you have any questions, contact your dealer. Thank you.